Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to Dewey Nation. And I'm back with another Clash Royale video. Um, today I'm gonna show you a couple video uh, games with the Mortar deck. Uh, this deck was designed for the 2.8 to 3k and above rating where a lot of people are running a Mortar deck and a Golem. I'm gonna fast forward through a couple games, uh, two times speed. But I just want to give you a general breakdown on what's going on in the games. So right here he plays a more uh, Hog Rider. So I decide to uh, put the Minion Fort down and go Skeleton. And uh, just push towards his tower and it worked out pretty well. Um, on the other lane I have the Mortar hitting his uh, other tower. Now I'm just going to constantly play Minions right here so to keep under pressure. Um, as you can see, just throwing them away. He didn't have anything for my first minion horde, so I figured he won't have anything again. And I was right. They did pretty good, decent damage again. Uh, he dropped an elixir right there. And now I'm playing a defensive mort. The reason why is because I know he has a hog rider. So, as you can see, hog rider focused on the cannon while the mortar and the uh, inferno tower did damage. Now, I'm not worried about killing that tower because I have a rocket in my hand and I'll kill that once the time you know goes down to like 10 seconds or so. For now I'm just gonna play defense. And don't forget my minion horde keeps doing good damage because he doesn't have arrows and only a fireball. So as you can see right there the mortar kills the tower. I didn't even need to fireball. Now I'm just gonna be playing defensive buildings so you know, he can't do anything. So that was a pretty solid win, I'm happy about it. Um, let's get into another game. So let's see, right here, I'll play this game for you guys. So here I wait to get 10 mana, and I drop a cannon to fight his cannon. Then I drop all my trash <laughs> minions that cost level 1, that cost 1 mana, sorry. Uh, he plays a mortar, so I didn't have an answer for it, so I'm, I was gonna rocket it. Now right there, he played all his minions right as my mortar was about to shoot, and it killed everything, as you can see. And my mortar did some good damage as well. Here I'm gonna drop a defensive cannon, so his princess doesn't do damage to me. His mortar will focus on my mortar for now, and I'm gonna inferno down uh, that mortar. He's gonna play a little... Goblins, uh, skeletons, everything. I didn't even need to arrow there. I don't know why I did. A little mistake right there. I panicked. Um, as you can see, there he plays the mortar. I play my mortar. I mean, he didn't play the mortar. He played the cannon. I played my mortar. Minion horde. We traded pretty much. Right here, I'm gonna kill his mortar again. Uh, I'm gonna take care of the barbs. He arrowed my minion horde. So the game is going back and forth. Uh, but my mortar right here is actually locked in this tower while his mortar is shooting my cannon. So I got the better uh, trade right there. So here we go again. His mortar is shooting my cannon while my mortar is shooting his tower. Now I have a rocket in my deck, so I win that game. A few mistakes with the arrows, but I still won the game, so that was good. Now for this game. Uh, let's see what I do here. I'm doing the replays, so I'm just commentating as I'm replaying the games for you guys. So let's see, I played the cannon right there and the mortar right there. Now, as you can see, he has the poison spell, which is odd. But some people run that spell nowadays uh, because it was increased in damage. And it actually does about like, what, 300 to 500 damage to your tower depending on the level the card is. So here I get a mortar down. Uh, I'm gonna kill his uh, minion board or the minions. Uh, my mortar does some good damage right here. And as you can see, he tried to poison the mortar again because he didn't have an, uh, anything to deal with. Right here I Inferno Tower and he plays his Hog Rider, so the Hog Rider melts the Inferno Tower. So right now I'm ahead and I'm just gonna start rocketing because I know I have a rocket and if I just defend 
I don't even have to use the mortar technically. I just have to defend and throw all my defensive buildings now. So right here I'm gonna Inferno again. He's gonna freeze. I'm gonna drop a mortar um, to bait his Hog Rider. So right here I'm just gonna rocket and arrow and I take that game. Pretty easy win. Um, as you can see, Rocket is actually coming in handy. That's why I run it. Uh, okay, let's see. Right here, I see that I have a cannon and a mortar follow-up, so I'm going to drop both of them. But unfortunately, he has a Rocket slash Bomb Tower. So right here, if I'm not mistaken, I'm just going to start rocketing his towers. Right? I'm holding here. Yeah, I was like, I can't. I'm probably not going to be able to win this game. I put the mortar alone. So I have to just rock it and play defensively. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna play defensive buildings. He has arrows, so me and Horde don't do that much damage at all. I'm just gonna throw my mortar down. It gets cannon, uh, it gets rocketed. Opponent retire for the baby dragon. Cannon, you know, normal plays, and like I said, I'm gonna be just rocketing his tower down. Now right here, I just try to deal with everything as efficiently as possible. Um, as you can see, I'm cycling through, he's gonna start rocketing me, but I'm winning the race right now. So, if I keep, you know efficiently trading without him getting to my tower and rocketing, I should be able to win. So he rockets that, I rocket his tower, so now he's way more than I So right here, Baby Dragon goes down, and I don't let Dark Prince reach my tower. Here I'm gonna rocket, and I'm just gonna arrow, and win the game. So as you can see, if you can't use the mortar towards attacking his tower like directly use it for defensive purposes or just use it to bait out the minions uh, quick message guys for you guys um, I have a clan named Divination if you guys are interested in joining it's 1800 plus trophies I think we're full right now but uh, maybe we have like two three spots open but constantly people are leaving and we have an active members that I keep kicking so keep checking and um, yeah you guys are interested in an active clan uh, check that out uh, also follow me on Twitter at RazyKD Reviews that's also my YouTube channel right here I'm actually gonna show you guys a game uh, normal speed because this is against Musketeer Mirror and I believe he has a P.E.K.K.A as well let's see Valkyrie. Okay, so this is actually not the game that I'm talking about, but I'm just gonna. I am fast forwarding through this as well. I, I, the next game I believe is the game that I want to actually show you guys because that's one of the most played decks right now in the game. So here, pretty much, I'm just dealing with that tower, putting the damage in. And by now, as you can see, I'm gonna start rocketing the Musketeer because I didn't have anything to deal with. So right here I'm just, you know, doing efficient trades. Right here I put the Mortar down, Inferno Tower, so I actually get good trades right here. I'm gonna rocket the Musketeers again because if they get on your tower, you are dead. Here I'm attacking the tower, his arrows kind of missed, so he actually screwed himself up a little bit. Uh, so he, it's not looking well for him. He put a rage spell, so now I don't know he has musketeer rage. But as you can see, it's too late now. So as you can see, you could use a rocket for defensive purposes as well. Okay, so this is the game. This is the P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince uh, deck. 
with a freeze and elixir that this is like one of the most overused decks in royale tv and uh, people play this at 3k rating like crazy um and i'm gonna walk you through how i actually done this so right here i'm just trying to deal with the elixir um, and i know this deck usually doesn't run arrows but unfortunately for me he's actually running arrows and princess um, there's variations of this deck, so this guy's using the arrows. But still, I actually managed to do some decent damage to that tower before, you know, er he had arrows. So, I get a good trade right here. I'm gonna play a cannon most likely. Let's see. I play a cannon? Yep, I play a cannon to deal with the princess. Because I don't want an arrow. And, uh, let's see. I should be dropping a mortar. Yep. And, look, you can see the P.E.K.K.A. So right here, I play my minion horde because I didn't know he had arrows. And now he revealed them. But my mortar is still doing a lot of damage. He uses a freeze right here, but I have an inferno that I place down. And as you can see, it actually melts the P.E.K.K.A. because I put the little um, skeletons to make sure the P.E.K.K.A. doesn't attack my mortar yet. And my mortar was able to do full duration damage on that tower. Here, from this point on, I'm trying to play defensively while playing the Mortar still, but if he would be doing good pushes right here, I would be playing defensive Mortar because I could rocket that tower down. As you can see, he played a Princess, and my Mortar just melted her while I shooting the tower. So I'm getting super efficient trades right here while holding him down. So here he uses freeze, I'm just gonna use arrows, because if you leave that uh, prince on that tower, you know, your tower is gonna die. And I let it sit there too long, I hesitated, but this is what I was talking about right here, I'm just playing defensive buildings, as you can see that peck is gonna go from building to building, and here he's pushing me, but I'm able to play my rocket um, my uh, cannon down and I'm just constantly gonna play building or after building after building and I'm gonna just waste time because I'm ahead I have one tower down he has none and right here he gave up pretty much because the defense is way too strong for him um, so this deck beats that deck if you play it properly uh, but that's pretty much it guys, uh, I want to show you a couple games, that's the deck I'm running right now, I did a little change now that I'm at 3200, instead of the skeletons I put a fireball and it's been working out even better for me. Uh, but yeah guys, um, thanks for watching, uh, subscribe, follow, like my videos, my stream schedule on Twitch is every night. 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Check me out there. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a good day.